everyone coming at you this week with another primer review i know a little different from my normal foundation reviews but we've been mixing in some primers here lately i feel like and i've been enjoying it i mean i've got it to test i may as well give her a test so this week i am trying out the it cosmetics your skin but better primer plus oil free makeup gripping base all day grip technology and pore refiner and hydrator whew, whew, sorry i almost almost didn't see all those claims there there's just too many too many to catch on the box but this primer here as i said is from it cosmetics it's 39 dollars. so to me it's on the pricey side for a primer not quite as pricey as my beloved guerlain primers but you know i do think 39 bucks is up there this has great reviews so that's good to see and you do get an ounce of product and as i said this is an oil free makeup gripping primer that's going to hydrate the skin while also extending the wear of makeup. It's good for all skin types apparently and it mainly targets dryness, pores, and dullness slash uneven texture which is great because I've got some scabby bits and whatnot so I am hoping to give those crusts a bit of hydration and evenness on my face. Here are the highlighted ingredients that are supposed to do us well or do our skin well. They also just say that it, you know, helps your makeup to go on smoother and just refines the look of pores with further use. So cool. They say to put this on over your moisturizer, a thin layer, and then blend your makeup on top. You could also just wear this alone on your bare skin for an extra boost of hydration hydration and it is suitable for all skin types including sensitive which is great because I do have sensitive skin so cosmetics had sent this to me to test out quite a, a while back I, I guess I don't know exactly when it was but just so you guys know this was sent to me as always a I'm not obligated to review it and B I am certainly not obligated to give it a good review I'm just obligated to give it an honest review. And I say I'm obligated to do that because that's just my personal policy. That's what I always tell companies before they send me product if they contact me about sending me product. So boop up, let's zoom in a little bit, show you my face. Here is what I am working with at the moment. Got some healing bits, some pimply bits, some crusty bits. I mean, I've got all sorts of bits on my face right now. So I'm curious to see how this does to even all of that out and make all of my bits become one. It's very exciting. Based on what this looks like, I'm guessing this is a silicone based primer. I do not see ingredients. Yeah. First ingredient's water, that's good, but then glycerin and dimethicone, so yes. This will be silicone-y, which always has me a little nervous, but you know, sometimes, sometimes I get proven wrong. Let's see if this is one of those times. I don't know exactly what that smell was. It smells familiar. Maybe it, it smells like a moisturizer that I know of. It does feel hydrating going on the skin, not like, hyper hydrating or anything but it does certainly feel like i'm giving my skin some extra moisture and it goes on like a mix of a silicone based primer and water it's kind of a it's not an interesting texture but it is something a little different than what i'm used to i guess certainly more on the silicone feeling side but overall feels good my skin feels nice and soft and smooth oh i probably was supposed to only use this on half my face wasn't i <laughs> Got ahead of myself. I will do that on further days of testing. I was about to say, how's that? But now I'm gonna say, how rude. Memory card filled up, how dare. So let's see, a good tester of primer, whether it's going to extend the wear of my foundation. Good one to test out is this Believe Beauty Foundation because it really only lasts about six hours, I would say, five, six hours before it starts to really start coming off of my face so we shall see if this extends things i can never remember if i need a mix in with this Ugh. i really need to just like start labeling my foundation bottles so that i can remember which ones need extra extra help and which ones do not but that'll just have to happen on another day so let's give this a test I 
think when I said let's give it a test, I meant let's test out putting foundation on top of it, see how that does. I think the foundation looks good as it tends to. I certainly, you know, think that it went on smoothly on my skin, especially on that big scab I have on my forehead and just Overall, I mean, the primer certainly didn't hurt anything, I don't think, in terms of application, so that's good. We shall see if things continue to be good by testing this out further throughout today, throughout other days, and we shall do so together. So I will either check in with you periodically today or else I will just see you at the end of the night. In any case, I will be seeing you all in just a second here. Ready, ding, hello everyone. Sorry, I'm pretty sure it's really noisy right now. My dryer's going, the heat's going. I apologize, but it's, it's not the end of the night, but I'm ready to take off my makeup because it has been just about, well, I suppose a little bit over six hours now. It's been like six hours and three minutes, I think. <laughs> but uh, the foundation, I looked in the mirror. While it feels fine, and I do feel like maybe my oils are less, or this is looking less shiny than normal at this point, this foundation, it's starting to break down. You know, it's starting to get a little creasy, cakey looking around my mouth. It's coming off on my nostrils. You can see the foundation sinking into my nose pores. Underneath my glasses, it's coming off. Like overall, it's just not, it's starting to break down, you know, as this foundation tends to do at this point. So, I mean, the primer didn't hurt things, I don't think. Did it help things? Ah! I mean, I was standing over a hot oven for a good like hour or so. I made cookies and a live stream with you guys. That was a lot of fun. So we had some moments where, you know, the foundation went through some heat and stuff, but overall, I don't know about the primer. We'll see. Certainly at this point, I wouldn't say it's worth $39, but who knows. We're gonna keep on testing it and we're gonna do so together. So I will see you after I've done so. And then I will tell you about it. Yeah? Ready? Ding! Things have changed, I promise. This is an actual different day. I promise. Don't let the cardigan fool you. It's just, you know. <laughs> it's a good cardigan, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let us discuss these past couple of days of wear, shall we? So for day number two, I went ahead and used the primer on half of my face. I remembered to only do half of my face with the primer this time. Yay, me, go, me. The small victories sometimes. I used my beloved Too Faced concealer and then went ahead and used one of my personal favorite foundations at the moment, which is the CoverGirl Skin Milk foundation. So, you know, nice and dewy and whatnot. But I, I did think that both sides of my face honestly looked the same overall, I don't think. Even though, you know, the primer does help to make the skin feel smooth and hydrated and stuff, I don't think it makes a difference in terms of once you put makeup on over top of that, it looks exactly the same. And then throughout the day, both sides of my face felt completely fine and comfy, felt the same. And then at the end of the night, they basically looked absolutely identical, right down to the creasy marks around my mouth that I typically get. I think the only real difference that I could see was that there was ever so slightly more transfer of the foundation when I touched my face on the not primed side, but it was like insanely slight. <laughs> and then on day three here, I went ahead and once again remembered, again, go me, yay, progress to only do half of my face with the primer. And then I went ahead and once again used my Too Faced concealer. And on top of that, I used my Bobbi Brown foundation, which is certainly much more of a dewy finish. And so I tested that out here. And once again, you know, throughout the day, I initially thought things looked exactly the same on both sides of my face. And now here at the end of the day, I'm sitting here and I'm like, my face feels the same on both sides and it looks exactly the same on both sides. Literally, I do not see a difference. They look identical. So. So. 
let's let's go over the mediocrity, shall we? Let's list out the pros and the cons. To be positive, to begin, the pros, it does smooth the skin, makes the skin feel very nice and smooth, also hydrated. So if you want that like extra feeling of boost of hydration on top of your moisturizer or serum, whatever, this will give it to you for sure. And it also, depending on the foundation you put on top of it, it might very, very slightly mattify. However, this is where we get into the cons, the biggest one being that basically all of these pros are to negligible amounts. They, it just, all of the pros that I listed, it's like, but can you see a difference? Can you feel a difference? Like, does your skin, unless you're like really touching your face, does it really feel that much smoother? Does it feel any more hydrated, you know, throughout the day? Or is it just that initial hydration Feel it? No. It's all so slight. I honestly think that if I asked anybody in the world, can you tell a difference in my makeup in any way, shape, or form? They would not be able to say, yes, half of your face certainly looks smoother, half of your face, your makeup looks much better. No one would be able to say that, at least I don't think so. And since this is $39, I find that to be a very big con. And also a big thing is just that, you know, the primer, it, part of its name is that it has all day gripping power. It's a makeup extending, a makeup gripping extender. I don't think it does that. It doesn't make it worse. But as I think you can see, it certainly didn't do the foundation or anything any better on the side of my face that had the primer in these wear tests. So those are my conclusions. I hope they were at least helpful for you guys. I mean, like I said, this wasn't an awful primer. If I had to use it for the rest of my life, fine. Like it's just an extra step in my routine that I don't need, but like it wasn't detrimental or anything. I just personally like my primer to do something and this primer just ain't it. So thank you, It Cosmetics, for sending it my way to test. I'm sorry it didn't really do anything for me. You all should certainly let me know if you have tried out this primer, because lots of people have, and as I said in the very beginning, this has great reviews online, so clearly I'm in the minority here. But I also do feel like when I looked at the reviews on Sephora's website, they were all very like, it wasn't just everyone giving it a four star review. It was very much like a couple people giving it five star reviews and then a couple people giving it one star reviews and then a five and then a one and then a five and then a five and then a one and a one and a one. Like, you know, like it was very split. So I am curious to know what your experiences were, what kind of skin do you have, all that good stuff. Also, just let me know if you have any future requests on these weekly wear videos. Videos. I love getting that feedback from you guys. You can also just, you know, let me know if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be by giving it a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below. Become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.